All right, so we are at St. George Airport again. Another accidental paramotor meetup. My mom is here. Ma, say hi. Hi. And we got Andrew, Mike, Jim. Jim's a one-wheel expert. Jim, don't be nervous, but I am filming you. <laughs> so it's still early. We got thermals popping off still, but I'm going to head up and uh, see what it's like. Peace. I got you. It's not that bad up here at all, man. Where are you right now? Are you right over the tarmac? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that was you or not. Isn't there one other guy up? Yeah. He's up high like a sword. As soon as I get this thing warmed up, I'll be up there. Right on. Oh, that's not a good place to fly. Did he almost hit the trees? No, he flew right behind my prop wash. Oh, that's okay. Shit, I was just wide open. That's okay, it gives us a little lift. <laughs> oh, yeah? I need you jokers to get off the ground so I can do some foot drag. Got a lot of nothing for wind right now. I'll give you some wind. Stay right there. <laughs> no, f <laughs> <laughs> Take off right into your prop wash there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's bumpy down low. You can't foot drag right now. That sounds like a challenge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't need no sinking wind. All right, I'm going to come down and switch wings. I want to try some new wings. I hear you. Nice, 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 nice. Hadron 18, Andrew. Hadron 18. <laughs> All right, Lee, if you can hear me, I'm talking to the GoPro. You're doing what? I'm talking to the GoPro, not to you. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> okay, so just went up for a quick flight. It's bumpy, but not bad. Uh, it's like mildly, mildly bumpy. We got Jim flying his mojo. Andrew brought a Sirocco too. It's like brand new. I'm excited to fly it. That's my mom. Hang on. What's up? Okay. One, two, two, eight. And uh, Mike brought a nuke and his tandem gear. And Andrew's got a, a whole uh, trailer full of wings. So uh, the goal today is fly as many wings as possible. So this is wing number two. Hey, Andrew, on an ozone, you launch at the line? Yeah. Really? Okay. Oh, really? God, these ozone wings are so simple. The risers. I love it. Okay, Sirocco 2. 19. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, is that you, Thomas? <laughs> Sirocco 2. 19. Oh, yeah, baby. What's the, uh, what's the Sirocco supposed to be like? Isn't that the light version of one of the others? It's the light version of the Speedster. Basically, that's this wing. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely so much more docile than my Hadron. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> like, I have to pull like a lot of brakes to keep the rock. Like if, if I was doing what I was doing on my Hadron, I'd be upside down. <laughs> you gotta fly it, dude. You'll love it. All right, I'm gonna go up and do some wing overs and steal it. All right. 
Okay. So, I am flying the Sirocco 2 19 meter, uh, it's Andrews. It's got about five hours on it. Uh, this is brand freaking new. Um, and the main thing I have to compare any wing to is my Hadron 18 meter. So, a few obvious things. A little more docile than the Hadron, but I can feel, I mean, I kind of like that. I wouldn't mind having a wing like this just to, I'm sure I'll be able to get this thing upside down. I'm getting a little break in foot, but it launched like a dream. Just came right up. No fear at all. Just step forward, wing was up, full throttle, foot drag in the air. Loved it. Alright, let's see how it does with some uh, gentle wing overs. Do that. Go a little more this way. Oh yeah, so you gotta really get it going. Here we go. Okay. That, yeah. Super docile. Yeah, you gotta work to get it upside down and then come out, look at that. Wow, coming out of that wing over, it comes right out like dead straight. That is awesome. That is really cool. I would love to have a wing like this. I love my hand drum, but a nice dot up hands off wing like this. By the way, this review is coming to you after five minutes of flying this wing, so <laughs> take it take it how you will. Um, but yeah, it'll wing over, man, and it doesn't lose much altitude. I can still come back down. You've really got a weight shift, though. The Hadron will forgive you a little bit. But yeah, like that, I'll be upside down on the Hadron. And I'm just barely getting over vertical, or over the wing set. You really gotta hit it, man. I wanna go fly the Viper 3 next. Uh, but it's a 20 meter. But I suspect it will be hotter. I suspect it will. This is awesome, man. I'm so excited flying all these damn wings. Fly all the wings. Alright, we coming in. Check, check. Okay, so next on the list is the Viper 3. Ozone, well, it doesn't say it there, but trust me, it's the Viper 3. Andrew's wing also. And what he told me was that uh, the Viper 3 is a slow wing, lifty, good roll rate, very efficient. Uh, the Viper 4 was a replacement for this wing, and what was good about it is it was faster. Go, Lee. Full throttle. So here we go. <laughs> you hear him? You hear him? Oh yeah, and I got my buddy Lee trying out the Hadron 20, Hadron XX 20 meter. And you can't hear it on the GoPro, but he's hooting and hollering up there, screaming. So he's having a good time. <laughs> That's an awesome wing in the air, man. Hey Lee, be quiet up there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can hear you hooting and hollering, man. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, this, uh... This feels more like my skydiving wake. Yeah. I'm coming up with the Viper 3 right now, so. Gotcha. I'm trimmers out. This motherfucker's badass. <laughs> and what's cool is the trims and the speed bar activate the same thing. So you can go, you can use the speed bar just like the trimmers. And if you do speed bar and trimmers, it's double the speed. Yeah, now that is the same on, on mine, on that Speedster and Soraka. Oh, cool. All right, I'm, I'm launching. All right. Rip drop. Okay. Tom Kubot. Viper 3. Get it, get it, get it, get it. What's up? I'm going to play with this thing a little bit. 
just keep in mind it carries a lot of energy, so you got to bleed it off. I'm going slow with it, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, this, this is a skydiving parachute. Yeah, you look good on it. All right, this shit all day. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> The oh, wing you are looking yeah. at is for sale. YouTube. Buy that wing. Okay, so we're flying the Viper 3. Um, initial impressions. Launch is fine. It's very sensitive to my weight shift. So, I like that. I'm going to go up high. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> She's quick. Dude, if a free ride flies anything like this, I'm buying it. It does. Except it's more twitchy, I've heard. I've, I've never felt something where I could put it exactly where I wanted to. I always feel like they were lagging. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that glider. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I'm taking the mojo up right now. Oh, hell. Check, check, check. All right, so less than 30 minutes till sunset. Uh, I flew three wings. I was going to try to fly the Mojo and the Roadster, too, but uh, I did not have enough time. I want to have some fun, and for that, I go to the Hadron. But Lee said he loved it. He said it was more like one of his skydiving rigs, more responsive. And I've never flown a skydiving rig, so I don't know what that means. But he said he liked it, and he sounded like he had a lot of fun, so. <laughs> Here we go. Clear prop! <laughs> well, I snagged Mike's uh, windsock. Damn it. I gotta land and give that back to him. Son of a bitch. Yep. Gonna land. God damn it. Hope I didn't break your windsock. That's not mine. Yes, it is. I hit it. You hit my windsock? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of it? I don't know. Whatever you're missing, I have at home, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. What? I got I too close. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> I was like, why is there turbulence right here? So I have the little tiny one. I can give that to you. Hopefully, this isn't too bad. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Whatever, send me the link. You'll have one on, from Amazon. And I'll take this one from you. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, should I land? I was like, yeah. You really wanted that. So you got it. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Yep, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Send me the link. 
Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the fellows listening on YouTube, mm-hmm. what just happened was I did a sweet flyby for my mom and didn't see how close the windsock was, and I stripped everything off the windsock pole with my wing except for the windsock. <laughs> so he, and Lee's listening because he's on the intercom, so he's laughing. <laughs> but he had like a little windsock and a bunch of streamers. I just stripped them all off. And I was flying with him, so I landed. I got some of it back to him, but some of it fell off while I was flying. So it's okay. No damage to the wing, and I didn't die, which is nice. You should have just kept flying. <laughs> well, I wanted to give that streamer back, and I knew that he would, like, come back to his truck to put that away. <laughs> he be bent over broken. <laughs> I don't want him to get pissed off. Should have been like, fucking Lee. Yeah. Swear to God. Yeah, he flew by and uh, landed and then bent it with his hands and just said, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell. But bright side is I got myself a windsock pole. I just got to fix it. What did he just say, like, I'll just take it? Well, I, I said, dude, I'll buy you a new one. Give me that one. He's like, okay, here you go. <laughs> All right, no more talking. We launch it. There appears to be nothing wrong with my wing. We're good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Tom Kubot, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Official, official test pilot. Yes, ma'am. For crashed and wings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab a cone and drop it. What? I'm going to grab a cone with my feet. Oh, my God. I got to see this shit. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so I just ran out of fuel, I bet. Let me check. Oh, yeah. She's bone dry. Wasn't even paying attention. This is my first unplanned motor out. A lot of firsts in this video, man. Very cool. But there you go. My motor is dead, dead. And it's sunset, so. I get a little sunset glide. Good time for an outro. All right, so uh, kind of through this little mini, we're calling it a us uh, wingers party. Uh, not my joke, but funny nonetheless. And um, we probably got about five guys out. Most of them got in the air. Um, it was an awesome time. My goal today was to fly as many wings as possible. So I flew, uh, obviously, my Hadron. I flew a Viper 3, 20 meter. I flew a Sirocco 2 19 meter. That was brand new. That wing was awesome. I loved it. Um, and I flew. Was that it? I hope that wasn't. I guess that was it. Yeah, I didn't fly any others. There was two others I wanted to fly, but I wanted to get up in the air and uh, fly my wing for the last half hour. So that's what I did. But anyway, um, final thoughts on the Sirocco. Uh, again, I've just flown these for like 10 minutes each, but it's awesome. It's not all that spicy, but <clears throat> Andrew said if you let the trims out, it. And it gets hot, so uh, if that's true, 
that's an awesome wing because you could trim out, use it for some high energy wing overs, things like that, or keep it where it was, which I flew it on neutral, and it was like a dream. Just launched, awesome, uh, super docile, but you know, you just pull a little more brake, you can get it to roll. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the Viper Three, I'll be honest, I did not like that wing. Um, it didn't do anything for me, and in fact, uh, it was the only wing that really felt this torque compensation. Maybe it's because it's a competition glider, and that's what you get with slalom wings. I've never flown them, so that could be it. But it torqued um, hard to the right, like a, I had to really compensate weight shift. Um, that and it was an older wing, but nonetheless, I like I like to fly them. I like to fly as many wings as I can. So uh, I'm pumped. I'm happy. Um, it's a good day. My mom's out here. Uh, she's having a good time. So I'll go down and have a beer with her, shoot the shit with these guys, and then go home and hang out with the uh, wife and my two boys now. i got a newborn at home. So, yeah. Um, I cannot believe I ran out of gas. What an idiot. I was so excited about flying all these wings, I didn't even think to check my gas tank. <sighs> but, so I always have bailouts. In this case, my bailout is my LZ. So it doesn't get any better than that. Man, what a beautiful night. What a gorgeous night. So lucky to be out here. So lucky to be able to fly. Um, yeah, nothing else, man. Let's glide down and enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Final thoughts on my wing compared to those? I like it more. Um, the Sirocco would be the closest thing I would trade for it, but um, I I don't know if I would because I really do like the, uh, I don't know, I like the flying characteristics of this wing. I like, you know, just to touch the brakes and be in a freaking dive. So, I think I'll just keep this wing. I'm gonna go clean up some wings. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cool night. Andrew, how was it? This is awesome, man. You guys got a good Ma. Hi, I'm going to be on the YouTube. Hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. That's going to get some hits. All right. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>